My name is Christy Zlakis. I'm the owner and founder of Z Family Law here in Rockville, Maryland. We create new beginnings. It is our job to walk our clients through divorce and other family law matters into the life that they have reimagined for themselves. What are the best things you can do to protect your assets in a high asset divorce? This is something we are asked all the time and the answers run a, a gamut of different options. So first let's start from the beginning. If you're not yet married, get a prenup. A prenuptial agreement is one of the best things that you can do to protect your assets going into a marriage. The second best thing is a postnuptial agreement. This is an agreement where if you and your spouse are intending to continue staying married, continue working on your marriage, but perhaps you're not quite sure uh, where things might go, you can figure out what an appropriate property settlement might look like and put that down in writing in advance. If those ships have sailed, it's now time for a divorce, there are still other things you can do. The first thing is to have very clear records. Often in high asset divorces, we have issues such as businesses, we have lots of property, we have lots of not just real property, but other things such as boats, cars, RVs, everything else. Tracing, meaning figuring out how that property was purchased, whether it was purchased with marital funds or premarital funds is going to be critical. So be organized, get all of your documents together, and make sure that we can trace exactly where the funds came to purchase all your big ticket items. If you own a business, it's very important to consider getting a business valuation. If this business was acquired prior to marriage, it is gonna be your business, it's not gonna go anywhere, but the increase in value of the business may or may not be marital. Additionally, if at any point you infused marital funds into the business, that also can be problematic. If the business was purchased or created during the marriage, doesn't matter who owns the business, the business is marital and figuring out what the value is is going to be critical. So I'm getting a little bit lost in the weeds here, but suffice it to say, high asset divorces are incredibly complicated. This is not one that you want to go out alone. You need an attorney and you need one who is very well versed in these issues. If your attorney can't read a PL statement or if they can't read a um, a balance sheet, if they don't know how to figure out tracing, if they don't have good relationships with certified divorce financial planners and other professionals who work on these tracing issues, it's not the right attorney for you. So high asset divorces, big takeaways, prenup and postnup if you possibly can, document, document, document everything and keep track of those documents. And number three, work with professionals who are going to earn their fee by keeping as many of your dollars in your pocket as humanly possible.